Hello everybody, welcome back. Did you see the other two videos? I hope you did. But now we're on to Leo, Virgo, and Libra. I'm a Virgo. I'll try not to have preference to the Virgos, but so I hope this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, comments, and utterances of discontent will be met with love and humor. And click the links down below. I have, I have a wonderful Etsy store full of magic and manifesting and everything you can imagine. And click around this YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, we do magic MMMs. We do magic makeup and manifesting. I do at least three videos a week and a free reading every Friday. So check that out. Don't forget to subscribe because I have tons of videos. I'm going to have four coming out just today. So you're going to want to subscribe. Notification bell, all that good stuff. Let's hit it with Leo. What's Leo doing for the month of May? <laughs> Leo, of course. Of course, Leo. Of course. Just so you know, I've been doing these readings and man, they're coming up more like manifesty or more um, like getting your, your SHI tut together than anything else. It's almost like right now with the Zodiac, this uh, full moon we just had in Scorpio, it's more about getting stuff going than it is anything else. And yeah, okay, you think a relationship's over, Leo. You think something's done. You think something's over. Yeah, you got put in your place. Like you were really, really sad. And then I don't know if this relationship is on and off, on and off, but every other card is up, down, up, down, up, down with you. So I'm just gonna tell you. This, you're the first. So you're the seventh reading I've done today and you're the first one that focuses on relationships. So as I just opened up the video saying, oh, the, oh, the astrology, oh, it's not motivation work. It's not about love. And then Leo, Leo, of course, of course, Leo, because that's how you are. I love Leos, just so you know. I absolutely love, actually, when I, whenever I have been single, oh my God, I, I don't know what it is about me. The first thing I do is I meet like 15 Leos in a row. Oh, Leo's your heartbreakers. I'll tell you what, you're always so cute. So this is saying there was like a perfect relationship. There was something that was really, really, really vibing with you. You thought maybe this could be the one, maybe this is it. And then it's not working. Like it's not working. If you haven't had an issue yet, you're about to. It says it is not working. Like it's like, you think it's over, Leo. You do, you really do. Like um, if you're not hurting yet, you're gonna be hurting pretty soon. It literally shows you just, I mean, we got the nine of swords, we got the judgment card and we got the ace of clubs in reverse. The ace of clubs is like no go, not working, but I'm going to tell you something. Can I snap? Can I snap with these long nails? I don't know. This hands better for whatever reason. Reconciliation on your present or on your future. I'm going to, I got to pull some more cards on that just to, yeah, they're not going anywhere. Oh, yeah. It's just have patience. Just have patience, Leo. You get to choose. You get to choose, Leo. This is like an upset. For, I'm just like, what? What's happening? Yeah, up, down, up, down, up, down with this person. Could this be a job? Sure, it could. Could this be a friend? Sure, it could. But it's sure as shoot is looking like a relationship right here. So it's saying, yeah, they're going to come back. You think it's over. You think it's done. You think it's totally done, but they didn't, they literally didn't go anywhere. They don't date anybody else. Just have a little patience and then you get to choose you. Yeah. You're going to manifest this. A lot of manifesting has come out. Yeah. You're going to get to choose. I think you don't get back serious with them. I think they may have hurt you so much. I mean, you get to choose if you get to go back serious with them or not. Um, but it, yeah, Leo, be careful of that person around you. I'm going to tell you that right now. Virgo. That's me, Virgo. Happy times. Let's see. Oh, the tower. Oh, shit. I'm having a tower moment. Oh, we don't want that. I almost want to wipe this and just be like, whoop, done. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Okay. Okay, that's okay. I'm having a stuck moment too, apparently. So Virgos, happy relationship. And then there was some kind of wisdom that needed to be gained. This is in the recent past. So there, you guys were together, whoever you and your person are. Um, there was a person, there was a situation, situationship, if not a relationship. And then some wisdom had to be gained. Sometimes to gain wisdom, the universe has to really mess things up, which is what this tower card is all about. Tower means destruction, but that's okay. 
because it has to be destroyed. It has to be leveled so that they can build it again. If you look on this card, I'm going to try and hold this up here. I don't know how much it's going to focus, but you see all these little rocks and bricks. Whenever the tower is the worst card in the deck. Okay. So, oh my God, Virgos, aren't we luck? But we love a project. We love to stay busy. Um, Virgos are addicted to solving problems. So I'm not even upset about this falling tower in my reading. I'm like, okay, let me get my, let me get my happy planner out and journal about it. <laughs> okay. There's a guy I watch called the Leo King and he does like the best astrology. If you, if you haven't go check him out, he's amazing. And um, whenever he does the Virgo ones, he's like, okay, Virgo, you're up next. Turn off your vacuum cleaners. <laughs> And the one time I was actually, I was actually cleaning when he said that. So it's pretty funny. I'm not even upset about this falling tower. If you're a Virgo, you're not either. You're like rolling up your sleeves and put your hair back in a ponytail. These little rocks fall off the tower crumbles, but that's okay because what they do is they build another better tower from the leftovers from when this falls down. Okay. So that's what you're going to do. So you have a, you have a crappy situation going on Virgo and it literally feels stuck. So if you feel like this is not moving forward, this is not moving forward. This is not moving forward. Like you're stuck in hell. Yeah. Join the club. Okay. Um, so that's okay because you have the world above you, which means this is all transformative. This is happening for a reason. It's totally fine. Let's see going forward. Sorry. I had to wipe my eyeball. Um, I have dry eyes, which means when my allergies are bad, which they are right now, if you can hear how absolutely nasal I am, um, I have dry eyes, so they run. So if you, if you see me take a pause, it's because I have to wipe my, my gooey eyeballs. I'm like my chihuahua, gooey eyeballs. Yeah, this situation, it's probably relationship, just so you know, because this is, I mean, it started out with a relationship card, wisdom had to be gained, things going to hell right now, but don't worry, it's for your best. And then it shows you're going to do a lot of work and you're going to boom, get right back. You're actually going to have like a reconciliation that is basically a, a second honeymoon. Cause it, I mean, like you, so you read these left to right. I mean, these are your, these are your cards. So you go from marriage to lovers, which is better. Usually it goes this way, but it's going to, you're actually going to be in a happier, better space. So Virgos, don't worry about that, but I know you love a project. And if you know any Virgos, there are a ton of Leo, Virgo, and Libra. Traditionally, those signs are more populated because um, of winter months is when people are snuggled in bed. So they, you know, have the adult hug and then nine months later, a little Leo, Virgo, or Libra is born. So if you, you probably know one statistically. So pass this video along to them. Libra. Okay, Lib Libra. Libra. Of course. Of course. I love Libras. I love Libras. They just always have their shit together. And even if they don't have their shit together, they're totally calm about it. <laughs> like they're just, they're just like, yeah, it's cool. It's fine. Okay. Libras. Yeah. You're getting to work. You're getting to work. You're okay. So if you were out of work or if you were, um, in between things during the, uh, during the pandemic, don't worry about it. Cause it says, uh, work came to you, money came to you. You could have opened up your own business or have your own idea for a business or a side hustle. Now, in your present, you have the hermit in reverse, you have the four of swords in reverse, and you have the queen of swords in reverse, which means you are ready to go kick ass and take names. Not even take names. You're just going to go kick ass. Like you're just like on it. You are on it. If there was some investing you had to do, or there was a little pullback in your money or work, don't freak out because, well, you're Libra, so you're not going to freak out. You're just going to be like, of course I planned it this way. So I love Libras because they're like Virgos, but like evolved. They're like Virgos, like I'm Virgo, so I'm not talking shit, but they're, they're like Virgos can be very anxious and spastic and Libras are like Virgos, but calm. <laughs> so I want to grow up to be a Libra. So um, yeah, so you're, you had searched for an idea you had searched for like, like, uh, in, inspiration or something. And now that's all coming into fruition and you're just like, go, 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 go. Okay. This has more to do with business than love relationships or family relationships. Um, it says you are clarified on your idea and any of this money that you had to invest or any money that you lost during the pandemic comes right back to you. You may have to spend to get, but you're a Libra. You get that. You're, you're totally chill with that. Let me give you a quality. Yeah. It says, yeah, well, you're starting something new. Yeah. You're, you're out of the death spiral. You're like done. You like, you're on to the new project. Whatever the new project is, Libra, 
go headlong, go head for, well, you're, I can't even tell you that because you're already doing it. Um, this new project you're going to start or new job, it says have patience, money, not at first. Yeah. And then money comes rolling in. Okay. You may have to invest a little. So if it's a new job and you got to get all new clothes and all new shoes, that's okay, Libra. Don't worry about it. It's going to come back to you. Easy peasy, fresh and cheesy. So thank you guys for sticking in for the third installment. This was Leo Virgo Libra. If you need anything at all, if you need help with spell work, spell work can really help with anything, even emotions, you name it. Um, I'm helping a lot of people right now because this full moon in Scorpio was crazy and people were feeling really icky. So, you know, feel free, go ahead, hit me, hit me up down below. My number is down below. Just text me. Let me know your name, number one, because sometimes people just start texting me and they're just like, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, hey, what's your name, sweetheart? Let me know your name and let me know how I can help you and I can make all sorts of custom products. Okay. I have tons and tons and tons of products and I can make them custom or I am more than happy. More, the easiest way to do it is to go through spell work and I can hook you up with that. Um, I do spell work all the time for my clients. And if you see, I have 3,500 five-star reviews. So, you know, I'm not a fly by night here. I've been here for a billion years. So have a great day, guys. Thanks so much. Hope you like this video. And if you want a personalized reading, there is a link right down below to get a reading.